In more than 110 cities in the U.S., plastic bags are either banned at grocery stores or cost you money. Supporters say plastic bags hurt the environment, while opponents say the harm is exaggerated. Bagad Shaban takes a look at the issue. You won't find plastic bags at the checkout counter at Bob's Market in Southern California. They're banned in at least 50 cities and counties across the state. Francine Elman shops with her own reusable bags and wants more communities to enforce similar bans. If they just went through a, a garbage dump or a trash site and saw what was going on, I think they'd think twice about it. Supporters of the ban say plastic bags crowd landfills, pollute streets and waterways, and threaten marine life. Where plastic is banned, like here in Santa Monica, stores go through piles of paper bags. Those also take a toll on the environment, but about 50% do get recycled. That's compared to about 5% of plastic bags. But manufacturers say banning the bags is unfair. The amount of litter nationally that plastic bags produce in the waste stream is less than half of 1%. Marine scientist Sarah Sikic is with the advocacy group Heal the Bay and says in Los Angeles, plastic bags make up closer to 25%. The litter on the streets gets washed through the storm drain systems, through our rivers and waterways out to the beach, and plastic bags are often part of that trash. She says since the floating plastic can resemble jellyfish, animals like sea otters confuse it for food. The future of plastic bags could depend on what happens in Los Angeles. LA is studying the impact of passing its own ban and could become the largest city in the country to trash plastic bags. Bagatchaban, CBS News, Santa Monica, California. Plastic bag supporters say current and future bans threaten more than 30,000 American jobs. And while the recycling rate may be low, they argue about 60% of people reuse plastic bags in a number of ways, from cleaning up after pets to storing trash.